Can't seem to get rid of algae in your pool? Adding a double dose of shock is usually enough to kill algae and clear up green water. But what if your water is still green even after shocking? Well, here are five common reasons why that might happen. Number one, you didn't add the right amount of shock or you added it the wrong way. Number two, your pH or your CYA is out of range. Number three, you've got hidden algae spores on your surfaces and inside your filter. Number four, you're not running your pump and filter enough. And number five, you've got copper in the water and that's what's turning it green. It's not even algae. So here's how to solve each of those issues and get rid of green water for good. Let's dive in. Hey, it's Matt from Swim University. And before we get into this video, if you're new to taking care of a pool and you want more help, check out our pool care handbook. It's an easy to follow manual made specifically for new pool owners. And you can grab your copy at swimu.com slash book. All right, here are four ways to clear up chronically green water. Number one is you wanna add the right amount of shock and add it the right way. Shocking your pool means you're adding a highly concentrated dose of chlorine that quickly raises your chlorine levels and kills algae. And you can do this by adding chlorine shock like cal hypo shock or even dichlor shock. But shock on its own won't magically clear up the green water. So before you shock, you need to balance your alkalinity and your pH first, because getting these two levels in range helps your shock to work more effectively. You'll also wanna brush your pool surfaces before shocking, because this will help loosen up the algae spores and get them actually floating in the water where the shock can actually kill them. Now next, if it's been a while since you've cleaned the filter, you want to do this before shocking because it's probably been running with algae in the water. So you'll want to rinse your filter grids or backwash your filter. You'll also want to add your shock at night. That's because the sun can quickly burn off unstabilized chlorine. So adding it at night lets it work longer in the water and make sure that your pump and filter are running while the shock is working. Then you can rinse your filter after the shocking process is complete. This is usually around eight hours or even up to 24 hours. Finally, make sure that you've added enough shock. A regular dose of shock won't be enough to kill algae. If your water is light green, you'll need a double dose of shock. And that's two pounds of shock for every 10,000 gallons of water. If your water is dark green, you'll need a triple dose or three pounds for every 10,000 gallons. Now, number two, balance your pH and your CYA. Algae grows when there's not enough active chlorine to kill it. And your chlorine won't work properly if your pH or your CYA levels are off. Your pH affects your chlorine's sanitizing power. And cyanuric acid, or also known as CYA, or chlorine stabilizer, protects your chlorine from breaking down in the sun's UV rays. So be sure that your pH is between 7.4 and 7.6, and that your CYA levels are between 30 and 50 parts per million. Number three is you wanna remove algae spores from your surfaces and your filter. Algae doesn't just float in the water. The spores cling to your pool floor, your pool walls, and inside your filter. So while shocking and balancing your water is important, you'll also need to remove any algae spores on your surfaces. You wanna brush your walls and the floor, especially before shocking, and vacuum the pool with your filter on the way setting to manually remove algae spores. Finally, you wanna run and clean your filter more often, especially when you're dealing with an active algae bloom. Number four, run your pump and filter longer. All of the pool water needs to circulate through your pump and your filter at least once a day. If it's not, that stagnant, unfiltered water is susceptible to algae. So make sure that you're running your system enough. And you can check out our pool pump video if you need help calculating that turnover rate. Also, algae can be especially aggressive in hotter weather. If it's 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 26 degrees Celsius outside, you wanna run your pump for at least eight hours, especially during the hottest part of the day. And if it's even hotter than that, you'll wanna run your pump a couple hours longer. Better yet, if you have a variable speed pump, you can run it 24 seven at low speed. Number five, check for metals in your water. There's actually a good chance that your green water isn't actually algae. It could be copper. And copper can get into your pool from a water source like well water, a copper-based algicide, or a mineral system that uses copper. And if you have high copper levels in your water, and then you add shock, your water will turn a clear green. It looks a lot different than murky green like algae. 
Test your water for copper with a metal testing kit or by bringing it into your local pool store. And then you'll need to remove the copper with a metal sequestrant. Just be sure to adjust your alkalinity and your pH first, and you'll need your chlorine at one part per million before adding the sequestrant. But if you still have algae lingering in your water, even after trying all this, well, that's where flocculin can help. Now, if you can't see the bottom of your pool after shocking, or you've got dead algae clouding up your water, flocculin can remove the remaining algae spores. Flocculin clumps together small particles and contaminants and then drops them to the bottom of your pool floor. Once they're settled, you can vacuum everything out with a manual vacuum, but you'll need to be able to vacuum on your filter's waste setting. You don't want any flocculin going through your filter and clogging up the filter media. And unfortunately, robotic vacuums aren't great for removing flocculin. So you wanna check out our step-by-step -step video on how to use flocculin to remove algae if you want more help. Finally, if you've had a chronic algae problem, here's how you can keep it from coming back. Number one is you wanna keep your water balanced. The right alkalinity, pH, and CYA in your water helps your chlorine to work properly, and good chlorine levels are what kill algae. Number two, shock weekly. Killing early stage algae blooms with shock can help prevent them from becoming a bigger problem. Use a regular dose of shock for maintenance and increase it if you have noticeably green water. Number three, clean your surfaces. Brush and skim your pool at least once a week and you'll wanna vacuum more often if you have chronic algae. And this is where a robotic cleaner can actually come in handy. Number four is you wanna supplement with a mineral dispenser. Now mineral dispensers release copper ions into the water. And this works as a natural algicide, which helps combat chronic algae infestations. And check out our other video about mineral systems if you want more help. Number five is you can use an algicide. Now, algicides are best as a preventative measure against algae, so they can be helpful to stop algae blooms before they start. You can add a maintenance dose of algicide once a week to your water, and just be sure to keep your other levels balanced. Number six, consider a phosphate remover. If you've done everything else, it might be time to try a phosphate remover. Phosphates are food for algae. Remove phosphates and you starve the algae. But make sure that you're trying everything else first, like balancing your water, shocking your pool, and cleaning your services before buying another expensive treatment product. And if you need more help, you can check out our pool care handbook at swimu.com book. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe and check out our channel for more tutorials. That's it. Thanks again and happy swimming.